All right. Make a really good series. Okay. All right. My agent has spoken. <laughs> Julie, give us a slight clap. Welcome back to Running With Cameras. I'm sorry I've been really slacking and lacking in uploading videos, but I have been busy. I ran a marathon in the spring, didn't bring the GoPro, shame, just didn't feel like it. I've also been busy winning Emmys. Run Millinocket, my YouTube original, along with Brian Gould and Peter Villa. Uh, we won Emmys, New England Emmys, for that fine production because it aired on local PBS and in Maine PBS and people seem to like it. So uh, thank you guys for watching that. I am back in the chair in front of you guys, excited to talk about a new series that will take quite a while to do, but they will be just regular installments hopefully. And that series is NH48, which stands for New Hampshire 48. And my wife and I and the kids and our puppy Willow, we are set out to do all 48 of New Hampshire's 4,000 footer videos, yay! So if you're not from New England, you may have no idea what the New Hampshire 48 is all about. It actually just came on my radar fairly recently, uh, a couple of years ago, but it's a thing. A lot of hikers in this area like to try to accomplish hiking all 48 of New Hampshire's 4,000 foot mountains in the famous White Mountains, which is just an absolutely beautiful hiking area. And um, the difficulty level varies a lot. And that's part of the reason for my series, I would say but it's also very doable, I think, for a wide range of um, hiking abilities. So hopefully this series is a really nice resource for people because I've heard from people who've watched us hiking Monadnock and Washington that I think people are curious about the terrain and probably more than that. As Ash and I now are setting out to do this, we're finding a lot of cool information is on different websites and apps, but I don't know if there's a really nice fully collected YouTube series that both shows the actual terrain of the mountains themselves, as well as breaks down useful information like what kind of features are there? Waterfalls, some river crossings, how rocky is it? Can my kids do it? Or could I bring my dog? Are there spectacular views or is it boring? So there's lots of variety. Uh, sometimes it makes sense to hike more than one mountain in a day. So we'll combine some where it makes sense logistic wise, just cause it takes a long time to get up there. Here's a little short clip of we just did Cannon Mountain, which was awesome. So here's a little section of Cannon that you can check out. And uh, the full video for that is gonna be coming up in your Running With Cameras feed soon. So check it out. So Cannon Mountain, 2.1 miles. Julie, get a picture. Shot of that sign. Steep start, steep already start. in on a water break. Willow's like, what's steep? Willow's like, uh, water break for everyone? <laughs> Here, hang on. It's okay, this is... Hi. Hi. Some awesome Hello. views up here. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah, this is where they're saying there was a view. Little clearing here. Willow can't wait to see this clearing. Wow. So an interesting thing about New Hampshire's 48, 4,000 footers is that actually the number may change. I don't know if this is causing like huge ripples in the right hiking community or not, because I'm not totally tied in, but I came across an article that there's a survey happening from the United States government uh, where they're using new laser technology to measure the topography of the state of New Hampshire in some of those 4,000 footers are just barely over 4,000 feet, so they may come off the list. One of which is Mount Tecumseh that we actually already did last year, so that's kind of serendipitous because I didn't bring my GoPro and hadn't thought of doing this series. So if that's off the list, no big deal. And there may be some new ones added. I have no idea if there are any that are just shy of 4,000 that with this new technology, maybe they come into the list. So the 48 may be the 47 or the 46 or the 49, which might screw with my search engine um, operation stuff there, SEO. Maybe the AMC will keep it at 48 just for like the history of 
plaques and patches and memorabilia and things like this, this cool canvas that Ashley got me. Um, this just says 4,000 footers. It doesn't say anything about 48. So maybe we can just scratch off Tecumseh if it leaves, but this will be a fun way for us to track our progress. And as you can see, we just have two pins right now and uh, we hope to do it in maybe like the next six years or so, we'll see. You can get this on Etsy, link in the description for the cool artist who made this. All right, thanks for watching guys, bye.